Hi everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Hi my friends, I'm so excited because Ite Cosmetics just arrived to Scandinavia. I've been waiting for these products for a long long time ago and I know when I did a box swap with my beautiful friend Valerie, I wrote down that I would like uh, that I wanted to try Ite Cosmetics eyeshadow, I, not eyeshadow, the Ite Cosmetics mascara, I think it's called Superhero, I think. And she did send that and I was very happy to receive it and I did really really enjoy that mascara but we couldn't get ET Cosmetics here in Sweden and they finally launched on kicks for us that live in Scandinavia I'm really excited because I really want to try this product and the products that I really want to try is these beauties here this one is ET Cosmetics CC Plus color correcting full coverage cream with SPF 50 and this is CC Plus Oil Free Matte Pore Minimizing Full Coverage Cream SPF 40 and this is I think this has been around for a long time this is um, kind of new and I know they have the one that is illuminating but I don't like illuminating foundations because I do have very oily t-zone and this says that this one says it's full coverage SPF 50, brightening, color correcting, hydrating, minimize the looks of pores, conceal dark spots and signs of aging. This one, the matte one, it says full coverage matte foundation, SPF 40, brightening, color correcting, hydrating, minimizes look of pores and conceal dark and spots and signs of aging. It says that it's doing the same thing, the only difference is that this one is SPF 50, no, SPF 40 and it's mattifying. I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this one on this side and this one on this side. And I think, hmm, I don't know what I'm going to use, the brush or the beauty blender, but we'll see. I bought this in medium. I think they have seven shades, if I'm not wrong. I think they had only three in the beginning, but right now they have seven shades. I think they need many, many more shades. And I did bought medium. I don't know why. I don't like my foundations to be light. So let's try this. If you want to see how these are going to look on my skin, combo skin, and I'm going to wear it all day, then please keep on watching. So I'm kind of filming this makeup look. It's going, going to be soon on my channel and I'm not finished with it. So it's not finished blended. But any, anyways, we are here for these beauties. I'm going to take uh, this one. I do already have a primer on my skin. I have the Hourglass primer and the one that I'm also trying to finish is uh, this one pore, prim uh, pore Primer from Revolution Pro and I like this. You are beautiful as you are beautiful you are it. Such a cute message on the packaging. I haven't swatched it, I haven't opened it, and it has a pump. You'll probably see this everywhere. But it just launched in Sweden for a week ago, or in Scandinavia, so I'm very excited. Oh. You only need two pumps, one to two pumps. This is the one, the regular one, and I'm going to try it on my skin. I only used one pump. And I think I want to try first the brush. Let's go in with the brush and hope. Oh, it smells strange. I see strokes. So I'm going to take my beauty blend blender. I'm just doing like how it looked with the um, brush. But this, this definitely doesn't give me full coverage. Need to use more of this. I feel like the brush gives me more coverage than the sponge. It is buildable, but it kind of sits funny. Maybe it's because this is the CC cream and I do have a moisturizer under this one. Just want to 
have more courage here on my cheeks. It says full courage. I don't know if, it, if I really agree with that. I feel like it's more medium coverage. Don't, can't find my regular foundation brush. Maybe that one will work better than the other one that I tried. But this is definitely medium coverage. I'm not hating, hating it. It looks good. But I just feel like it's... I'm not blown away. But it feels very light on the skin. And I like the shade. I think shade is good. Let's try the other one. So on this side we have uh, this one. Now I'm going to try the matte version. Clean my hand from the other foundation. Let's try this one. Oh, I feel like this one is a little bit thicker. It smells the same. Take the other side of the sponge. And let's apply it. Uh, this one is definitely thicker. I don't know if this is only me, but I feel like this side with the matte one, with this one, gives me more coverage. Mm -hmm. I definitely prefer this side than uh, this one. So I'm going to use uh, the um, concealer. I'm going to take a little bit of this revolution, just a little bit, because I want this CC cream or ET Cosmetics to be star of the show. I'm going to use the clean side. So I'm going to set everything and then I'll be back to give you my thoughts. So guys, I just finished my makeup look. It's, what time is it? Let me show you my, almost 12 o'clock and I'm going to have this foundation on or CC cream on or as long as I can. On this side, we have this one. On this side, we have the matte version. And the rest of the makeup went on smoothly. I really, really like it. How easy it was to apply the rest of the makeup though. I have to be honest. This looks like my skin, but better. It really does. Uh, it's not full coverage. It's definitely not full coverage. And it didn't uh, hide my dark circles. So I had to put some of the um, concealer. Thank you. It did start to settle into my fine lines on my forehead, uh, but it looks good. I like it. It doesn't look good on, around my nose. I don't know why. Hmm. It kind of did settle there, but we'll see how it's going to look the rest of the day. But I do, do I don't, I'm not hating it. I'm not hating it. I just keep it like this. On this side, I did get a more coverage. Uh, it's, it's the shade, same shade didn't send on to my fine lines. I really, really like it. Though it looks also weird around my nose. Doesn't really look that good, but I don't know. Maybe it's that it doesn't go with that primer or something. I need to try it with some others. The one thing I really don't like is that my concealer. I don't, if you watch my videos, you know that I really love this concealer and I never had problems with them. But for some reason, over this CC cream or foundation, it says foundation, so let's call it foundation. This turned yellow. When I blended it over my over the foundation and then went over with the powder and you know the powder I can't live without Huda Beauty it turned dark it turned yellow and it doesn't really look good under my eyes it looks patchy like I haven't blended this foundation uh, the primer not primer can't talk today like I didn't blend the concealer properly it's yellow and it's too dark under my eyes and I don't really like it. And I know it's because of the foundation, because this concealer, it works with every other foundation that I have. I never had problems with them. I also have been using Huda Beauty for months powder and I love it. 
with all of my foundations and concealers, never had problems except for this first time after using this. I have other concealers I can try out. I'm not mad about it. I I'm not mad about it. Though I do like how it looks on my skin. It looks... It looks like my skin, but better. I, I, it doesn't look like I have ma makeup on. It doesn't look heavy. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel like I have makeup on my eye, on my eyes, on my skin, and I do like that. It's 12 o'clock. I'm going to wear it for a couple of hours. We'll see which one I prefer, if I like this one, or if I like the regular one, or the first that they launched, or if I prefer the matte one more. This one is SPF 50, this one is SPF 40. It feels like this one has less SPF but also gives me more full coverage. I don't know if that has something to, to do with it. But I love the package, packaging. I love how easy it is to put it on the skin, how easy it was to blend it, how easy it looked with other makeup on. So I do do like that a lot. So we'll see how this is going to work after a couple hours. So see you soon. Hi, welcome back. It's seven o'clock in the evening. And I'll be having these for seven hours and I want to tell you my th thoughts. I'm uh, going to wash my hair and put on some pajamas early this night. So I'm going to remove this makeup right now. But it was so comfortable wearing this foundation. Like you see, they look almost the same. I do prefer the side, the matte one, this one, because it's more matte than this one. This is more shiny and it uh, it has just a little bit less coverage but i really enjoy it definitely something i'm going to reach for i love this uh, i just prefer this one because i do have oily t-zone but you see seven hours i didn't touch up i didn't do anything this is how it looks it looks stunning really really like how this looks it haven't moved it still looks good like i just applied it and it looks just a little bit better now when my natural oils came through a little bit. I'm liking it a lot. Um, yeah, they're good. I love these. So guys, like I said, prefer this one more over this one. It has been seven hours since I put this makeup on. I've been eating spaghetti and a lot of food and still it, it's there. I think this would be great when I want to have that um, no makeup makeup look days. Uh, but I really like this. I'm very excited to be able to try it cosmetics here in Scandinavia. So guys, if you haven't tried it Don't think about it twice. So guys, sorry my camera camera died and I just want to finish this video and Guys, I just want to thank you for watching Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. So, you know every time I upload I really like these foundations definitely something I'm going to reach for I think like I said I prefer this one more over this one but this one isn't bad either really really like them thank you so much and see my next video Mwah. bye